I neglected this food processor full of partly processed worm food for a few days and you can see it's yucky, it's moldy, there's juices building up on the side. So definitely don't want to take that and even freeze it and give it to my indoor bins. Uh, it's come out to the workhorse of all my worm farms. It's come out to Gilligan. So I'm going to dig a trench. I'm going to give Gilligan some carbon and then he's going to get this rotten food. Stay to the end and we'll come back and see what Gilligan's worms do with it about a week later. So most recently Gilligan's worms have eaten a bird, uh, eaten some raw comfrey leaves and eaten some moldy pumpkin. I'll put the links to all those videos in the description. So today I'm going to dig a trench down the middle and Gilligan's going to take care of that food processor container worth of rotten food for me. So now that I've got my trench, it might not be big enough. There, deep enough. There we go. I am going to put some carbon in there so I can put that moldy food on top. So as Gilligan gets closer to harvest, I've been giving him this shredded single ply newspaper and single ply shredded uh, grocery bags. I guess there is a tiny bit of corrugated cardboard in here as well. This will compost down faster than leaves, uh, than leaves and wood chips and things like that will. So it's better for uh, a bin that's closer to being harvested. So now the moldy food. This is really putrid smelling. So I'm just gonna pull out, oh, if I can. Oh, look at that. Pulled out the blade. All the moldy food came out. Most of it anyway, all the moldy food juices. Yuck. So I'm gonna really spread that thinly because I don't want uh, big composting action happening here in Gilligan. So I remember why it got stuck in the food processor. I had all these melon and um, cantaloupe and watermelon uh, rinds and they got stuck around the blades at the bottom and I just went nuts to it and just abandoned it for a few days. So my bad. Gilligan's gain. So now some pulverized eggshell. Now when food goes moldy, you might think that's just a fungal decomposition and it's not going to heat up. All decomposition is both fungal and bacterial. The bacterial side is what's going to heat up. And so even though there was mold on this food, there was still a potential for it to heat up, which is why I spread it out a little bit more thinly. Even though I think I dug my trench sufficiently deep, oh, I'm going to have to make sure that I cover up this moldy food with, um, with those burlap blanket and that piece of cardboard. Although uh, Gilligan, to this point, has never had an incursion of a rodent. I would hate to start that now. And he it does sit right next to our compost bins and we have had rodent activity in them. So I want to cover it up nice and tight and we'll check back in a week and I'll post to the end of the video what happens to all that moldy food. Hello everyone, it's actually been six days later and so let's check in on Gilligan and see how he's doing with the moldy food. Pull back the burlap blankets. Worms hanging out on the burlap. That's not unusual. They've eaten a big hole in it. Do you see that? All right. Pull it right back. It's warm, but then it's a warm day today. So hard to say whether this moldy food had some compost action happening. So let me just dig down where I buried that moldy food and see what the worms have done with it. You can still see some of the newspaper hanging around. Still see Lots of the eggshell grit hanging around, obviously worms hanging around. There's a stalk. It 
seen lots of cocoons. But I'm not seeing any evidence of food at all. Still warm activity in the area. Mold on food is no guarantee it won't heat up in your worm bin. So this little experiment showed me that even though mold is visible on the surface of the food, the stench should tell you there's both bacterial and fungal decomposition there. The, that smell actually is coming from microbes uh, exploding in population. So it's little wonder that Gilligan's worms took care of this in only six days. All right, everyone, bye for now.